there guys, welcome back to Lost Odyssey, it's Chocolate Milk here. Today we're going to be doing the Goats and Refugee Camp, Frozen Over Goatsa, and we're also going to be doing a side quest that we got a long time ago in the Goats and Refugee Camp. So to start out with, i am come back here with a full party and you can access some new things in the camp, starting with some dreams. We're going to get quite a few dreams in this camp. The first one is the village closest to heaven. All you have to do is approach the medical tent. And I guess someone had a baby, so yay. After that dream has been revealed, there should be another one over here by the fire. If not, then just go inside one of the tents and then come back out and you should be able to trigger it. You go inside this medical tent and you talk to this little girl. I guess she like broke her leg or something by the looks of it. You can also get a drink from her. Our second dream is signpost. Now if you leave the tent you should be able to trigger that other one I was trying to get. You'll also get some treasure hunt information from that quest which is nice. I wonder what that was. I should go see. Cause I'm not too sure. General's Memento. Oh, that's way in the Crimson Forest. We're not we're not going there in, in that video, but I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to start this new quest also while I'm in here. We're going to start the seed quest. Now, we got a seed from a guy at the Ghost and Refugee Camp. You give the first seed to the pit pot. You exchange the spiky seed for the prickly seed. I'm going to be going to give the next pit pot its seed here in a minute, but before I leave, I want to give... Or I want to get this dream. Now there's one thing I forgot when I was here, just while while Kime's dreaming, and it's like a it's, it's a fixing quest. You can fix some stuff around the camp, and you get a treasure for it. I didn't end, I didn't end up doing it. And I don't think I will, just because it's such a small thing. But I will be sure to just leave an annotation on what you get out of that quest, because someone else has done it, and I'm sure I can look at their video for reference. That's all for the camp. There's just those three dreams, and that is the start of the Pipot trading quest. The next area is City of Saman. The first house on the left is home to a Pipot, and he'll take the second seed off of your hands for you. He's in the Earlio family house, and he's just on the right-hand wall here. It wants the prickly seed, and in exchange for the prickly seed, it'll give you the solid seed. So all you're going to do is just give the pit pots the seed in the right order. Each pit pot will want a specific seed. Now the next pit pot is going to be in the city of Aura. What you're going to want to do is enter the city of Aura. You're going to take the magic taxi. You're going to take it to the castle station square. Now this pit pot is a little bit harder to find. Um, you can't find him until disc 4. He's in the castle station square right over here tucked behind the bench here. Now he'll take your solid seed off of your hands and he will exchange it for a tough seed. Our next area we're going to go to is Numara. I'm going to go to the port of Numara and then I'm just going to take the shortcut to go to Ghost Town over here. The next Pipot is in Ghost Town. If you don't recall, the Pipot in Ghost Town is actually by Cook and Max House. So you're going to have to actually walk all the way through Ghost Town to get to the Pipot. But this is a relatively short trading quest, and you get a very unique item out of it that only the Pipots will give you. So I suggest doing it. It's really not that hard. You just got to find the Pipots in the right order. So this is where this Pipot lives. He wants the tough seed, so give it to him, and he will give you the fuzzy seed. Now, if normally, if you don't know where these pit pots are, you can go to the key items section, and you can hover over whatever seed that you have, and it will give you a hint on where the next pit pot is and what seed it wants. So that's another way to do it if you're really not sure. But after you've given the one in Ghost Town its seed, this one will want the fuzzy seed. So come over here to the Grand Staff Construction Base and get the rough seed from this guy. And I think we're about halfway done here. Well, over halfway done, really. We only have a few more stops, so just bear with me here. We're going to leave this area, and we're gonna go to our next area, which is the village of Tosco. God, we haven't been here in forever. It's been a really long time since I've been here. You're gonna wanna enter this house on the right-hand side and climb upstairs 
old man Basso's house house will house the second to last pit pot here. This one wants your rough seed, just like all the other pit pots, give it your seed, and this one will give you the smooth seed. Alright, so we've got we've got one more and then we can pretty much finish up the quest, so the next one isn't actually a place on the world map, it's actually on the white boa. So just go to your go to the white boa. And this pit bot's very easy to find. All you have to do is go to the pilot house and he's hiding in this corner. Alright, so give it your smooth seed. And the puffy seed is the last seed in this quest. Once you've got that, you're going to want to depart for the pirate fortress. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Gar, Gar after you have got all of the pirates back to the fortress and you've gotten Sed's gun and everything like that, you can actually come back to the pack for just for a second time and Gar will give you a slot seed. That's only available if you brought back all the pirates. I'd completely forgotten about that, but we get a free slot seed in this video that we weren't expected to get. This pit belt's probably the one that's out of the way the most, meaning that you have to climb the most stuff and go the longest distance to find this pit bot. But it's the very last one and he's really not overly difficult to find. We, we found him earlier on an earlier trip to the Pirate Forges and I told you to remember his location because we were going to come back here later. He was in with that very very important treasure chest that housed cubic score piece number nine I think it was the very very last piece. So he's over here, last last little ladder here, and then we're gonna follow the penguin into that little secret cave we had entered earlier. And there he is. This is the very last pit bot. So this pit bot will take your seed, and he'll actually give you a treasure, not just a seed. He'll give you a bracelet of efficiency. So that's a pretty good accessory. I think that helps with how much stuff. Yeah, it reduces MP cost. Okay, so that's what you get for the Pitbot Trading Quest. And now we're going to actually go to the City of Goats to finish up this video. Because we have not yet been there and I feel it's been grossly neglected. So, once you have a full party, it's not just Ming and Jansen, you can come back here for just a few things. A few s small things here. We're going to get another dream. I know we've gotten lots of those in this video already, but this is the only one that we have left to get. And these poor little kids are sick. Well, I can see why it's frozen over in this place. I have so many dreams to upload, my god. This is the ranking of lives. And that'll go up eventually whenever I, rec I record and upload that one. I've yeah, I have lots of dreams to upload. What else is there in the city? I'm sure there's some stuff I've missed. Uh, I think I've missed a lot of like um, treasure hunt information, and I'll probably just do like a, a like a everything I missed video or something. But we got a letter from the guy on the ghost and refugee camp a little while ago, and you can talk to her, and she will give you something for your trouble should give you a black belt i think this is the only place you can get that in this game too so again i would probably suggest doing that quest it's something unique now you can talk to this guy over here um this is a kent now he recognizes kaim and he doesn't really like him much because kaim was the only person in the highlands of wool if you remember back from the very very beginning of the game they were fighting up against the kents and this guy is really pissed off that uh, this guy like Kaim pretty much took all his friends from him. Now he's asking you to get back some of the Kent swords and things like that for like a memorabilia. Now if you remember the Highlands of Wool, we can never go back there. However, we can do this quest for this guy, believe it or not. It's not impossible. And I will update you on that one. I don't know if I included it in this video, I'm pretty sure I did, but if not then I'll have to fix that. Now you can't go this way because Old Town is completely 
screwed up, which is where Jansen and Ming had come from when they had made that little camp. So you can't go that way. You can either go east or you can go south. Now if you go south, you'll actually come to another city of Goza that's frozen over but still available. This guy here will give you some treasure hunt information. It's in Numara, actually. Or near Numara, rather. An ancient pirate treasure lies in the Terrace Cave on the Numara coastline. So, Terrace Cave is gonna give us some more treasure. We were, we've already been there, but I guess it doesn't hurt to go back if we missed something. And if you go up here, this is just another way to get out of the city. I don't think anybody up here really has a whole lot of anything super interesting to say. To be completely honest, I don't actually remember if they do or not. But this is another way. You, you, you can enter Goza from the south or from the east. This is the southern entrance and the east is where we normally would come and where we came in at the start of the video. So yeah, so, so they really don't say anything super interesting. So now you can leave and go south. And we're gonna do that stuff for the Kent that asked us to get that sword. So this is actually back in Aura. I don't know why I'm talking to these people. We've already talked to these people. If you talk to this guy, this is what I was looking for. He'll tell you there was nothing left to investigate. Everything's gone but for a few pieces of useless junk. What do they do with the junk? They said they'll probably sell it off once the investigation is complete. It's mostly stuff like Kent military swords, which is what the guy wanted, and a guy named Barkus has it. Now, if you recall, Barkus is the trader in town. He has the weapons and item shop. So you're going to want to go to the central station square, and then you're going to want to find Barkus' store. Because this is where you will get the sword for the Kent. I guess he's just, I don't know, buying a bunch of crap from a really terrible battle, I don't, you know, this is not like he's gonna be able to sell it, but whatever floats his boat, I guess. Now, I forget how to trigger this. I think it's just lying around his store. But if you talk to him, I think you'll just, oh. Well, stuff's lying around there, I can't sell it. Okay, so. Well, that's not really helpful. So why would you have something that you can't sell? I don't, I don't understand. Are you a pack rat or something? I have no idea. And I kept trying to talk to the guy thinking I would get the sword, but what you have to do is you have to go to the south of the sh south of the shop and you'll see a little glowing item over here. Or you can examine it here and you can pick up this broken Kent sword. And then he will allow you to take it. You can take it if you'd like, I don't care. Well, it's good that you don't care because I will be taking it back to the Kent who wanted it. So, we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go back to Lowtown here. We're gonna really quickly return this sword and end off the video. Now, there was one thing I missed. It was a treasure hunt place in here, but like I said, I'll probably go back and do that one later. So here we go. We will bring the sword back. And he will give us an accessory for it. We get the happy flower. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all later.